Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This guy's going to be all about deep core mining. I'm trying to catch up on any updated guides that need to be done before New Frontiers is released. And I haven't done a guide for deep core drills ever since they got released. And you never know, using deep core drills might be very beneficial come the New Frontiers expansion. Personally, I use deep core drills all the time. I find them extremely beneficial. I can just let them run and I don't have to worry about them, and I can go and collect the ore at the end of the day. The first item that you'll need is located on the workshop. This is the Advanced Deep Mining Ore Scanner. This will locate deep ore deposits within Icarus. If you do not see the scanner module available for you on the workshop, it's because you need to do the mission Meridian Extraction to unlock it. It's only a required technology of TR1 to complete this mission, and it's very simple to do. So once you've done that mission, you've unlocked it, it will cost you 500 Ren to research and 250 Ren to craft. Now that we're down on the planet, what you want to do is get your advanced deep mining ore scanner, place it on your hotbar, and then select it on your hotbar and bring it out like this. So to use this device, all you have to do is right click, to skip through all of them and locate the ore you want to find. So we want to locate gold ore here. So let's follow this. So all you got to do is follow that yellow arrow. I already know this where this is because I've been mining it. So let's just head on over here. As you can see, the percentage goes up. And there we go. Here's the gold deep ore vein here. Once you've located the ore vein you want, what you'll have to do is now place a deep mining drill on here. There's two available to you in game. You have the biofuel mining drill and you have the electric deep mining drill. So we'll cover the biofuel first and then we'll get onto the more advanced electric deep mining drill. So there's going to be a couple of items you need to unlock the biofuel deep mining drill first. So what you will need is the biofuel composter, a biofuel can and the biofuel deep mining drill itself. To craft the biofuel deep mining drill, this is in your tier 3 along with your biofuel composter and your biofuel can. To craft the biofuel deep mining drill, you'll need 20 steel ingots, 10 copper ingots, 12 epoxy, 10 electronics and 50 copper wire and that's craftable on the machining bench. You'll also need a biofuel can as well. This will need to be filled in the biofuel composter. To fill your biofuel can in the biofuel composter, all you gotta do is move your biofuel can into the biofuel composter and you can have any one of these resources in the top left you see here to fill up your biofuel can. We're now back at the gold, so what you need to do is go to your inventory, go ahead and right click on your biofuel deep mining drill, click deploy. Yeah, you can just see the snap point here, you just want to go ahead and left click. Okay, now you want to press F and go ahead and place your biofuel can in there and then click activate. You've got 20 minutes worth of runtime here. Obviously, this isn't a full can. You will get roughly about an hour out of one biofuel can for the biofuel drill. So you want to go ahead and click activate. And this bar will start going up as it starts extracting ore. As you can see, the biofuel drill is very slow. And once you've mined something, it will get deposited in the storage of the drill here. It's got very limited storage, so in total, it's only going to be able to hold 250 ore in here as it stacks in 50s. Next up is the electric deep mining drill. These require electricity, so you are going to need the electricity tool unlocked, along with the electric deep mining drill unlocked, and solar panels. I find solar panels work best for this, but you can use a generator as well. One solar panel can power two, electric deep mining drills at once so can a generator but a solar panel be, can be left out in the open and you don't have to worry about it obviously the downfall with using a solar panel is it switches off during the night but most players who are playing this game anyways go to sleep at night and skip the night time entirely anyways you are able to craft a deep mining ore scanner at tier 4 as well if you do want to craft it on the planet it will cost you 10 steel ingots four electronics 16 steel screws and 30 copper wire and that's craftable on the fabricator. The major perk is the one from the workshop you can bring that down with you onto the planet and you can use straight away so you can locate ore nodes faster and use biofuel drills if you wish a lot earlier because you know where the locations are. The first item you're going to need unlocking in your tier 4 blueprint is the electricity tool. To craft one of these it costs you 50 copper wire, 50 gold wire and 4 carbon fiber and that's craftable on the fabricator. The next item is the solar panel. This is unlocked once you unlock the electricity tool. It's just above it. 
you want to go to your solar panel and unlock that. To craft this, it's going to be 30 electronics, 10 steel screws, 60 glass, 18 composites, and 8 carbon fiber. Again, this is craftable on the fabricator. The next item is your electric deep mining drill. This is significantly faster than the biofuel drill and it has huge storage, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Its bonus is plus 33% deep mining drill speed and it requires 2000 power. So that's more than enough for your solar panel as you can run two electric deep mining drills from one solar panel. To craft one of these, it will cost you 25 aluminum ingots, 15 electronics, 12 steel screws, 8 titanium ingots and 8 carbon fiber. Again, this is craftable on the fabricator. You would have saw on the solar panel that you needed something called composites. The only way you can craft composites is by building a material processor. So in TF4 again, you will need to unlock the material processor. And to craft this, it will cost you 30 aluminium ingots, 60 electronics, 12 steel screws, 3 titanium plates and 8 carbon fibre. This will require 2500 power, so make sure back at your base you've got this powered up nicely as well. Separate to your solar panels though. And lastly, you will need composite paste. This is what you turn into composites. And to craft one of these, it's two raw iron, one silica ore, one organic resin, and one gold ore. In regards to composites though, the composite paste comes in two recipes. One of the recipes is iron ore raw, silica ore, one organic resin, and one gold ore. The other recipe is two iron ore, one silica, one organic resin, and one platinum ore. Either one of these recipes made in the material processor will give you the exact same outcome. The only way you're going to be able to turn your composite paste into composites though is at the electric furnace. One composite paste will net you one composite. Okay, so I've located two new ore deposits, a copper and an iron. I want to link these up and get a drilling operation on the go. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and right click on my solar panel in my inventory. And let's just place that down. You don't have to worry about animals attacking these. They don't attack them. As you can see, I've placed the solar panel. It is now lit green, so it's receiving sunlight. What you can do now is right click on your electric deep mining drill. Click deploy and this works exactly the same way as the biofuel does. You only can snap one to the ore node. So what you want to do now is go ahead and drag your electricity tool. Have it selected on your hotbar. Left click on your solar panel. You hear the audible snap. I want to create like an actual joint here, like so, because I'm going to be running another wire from this. So I want to go ahead and place that in there, like so. And there you go. It is now mining. It's significantly bigger than the biofuel drill, and it's a hell of a lot faster as well. If you want to do a bigger mining operation and have two drills running from one solar panel, that's really simple. Now, there's a cave just down the way here, and I know there's iron in there, so I'm going to go down there and set up my iron mine as well. The one good thing about this as well, you have infinite wire, so it doesn't matter how far your solar panel is from your drill, as long as it has a power connection. Okay, so here we are in the cave and here is the iron node that I want to be mining. So like we did up top is you just want to right click on your drill and snap it to the ore. Obviously, you still need to connect your power. So I've run a cable all the way through the cave. Let's go ahead and grab that and snap that. And there you go. And this will just keep on mining until it stops receiving sunlight. And then it'll pick back up when there's sunlight. Obviously, deep core mining isn't for everybody, but it is a good way of passively making ore in open world mode. If you found this video helpful, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free and it really does help the growth of the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and thank you to my YouTube and Ko-Fi monthly supporters.